Okay, so next we've got the programming of the controller. So we've got some power to it. It's coming up with a display um, 101. This is not the correct time. So we just need to simply work our way around clockwise and set these things up. So let's go to current date and time. Bear in mind this is in 24 hours, so it's currently 5 past 2 p.m. So that is 14. We've got the hour. Hit next for the minute. And five. And hit next again. And this has got some sort of internal memory because we've got the current date. So that's fine, day, month, year. Keep hitting next, and we're back to the time, so that's good. Go we're here going around, we've got program start times. So if we're setting up a new system, let's say we're in the middle of summer, we want three start times. So we've got the first start time, that's going to be 6 a.m. So just keep using the up, down arrows all the time. Back and next. So it goes in increments of 10. Next. Start time two. Now all of these, you know, if it's the middle of winter, these may not be necessary. Um, it all depends on the season. Third start time. So the second one we had 12 p.m. or 12 midday. We'll do this one for an afternoon. So let's say four o'clock. It's going to be 1600 hours. There we go. Next. Okay, so that's the three start times. Next. Run zone times. So these are our station times. And by default, all of these things are off, so we need to set some time for them. So let's say 15 minutes. Next. Zone 2, station 2, 15 minutes. Next. And so on and so on for however many stations you've got. Yeah. Days to water. Now, you hit next, and we got all the days on. So we can turn these on or off by going up or down, um, and we can just keep progressing, and they're all on. Now, if it's a new system, that's what we want. Okay, so that's really it's as simple as it is. Always remember, we've got to turn it back to run to, 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 for, the, for the program to run. The other important point is rain sensors are always mandatory when we're um, putting in a new system. We've got this button here. It says rain sensor or freeze. Push that one on and set to. If it does, we do get a heavy rain. It's going to activate the controller and the rain's not going to come on. And that's basically your basic programming.